Good morning, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. <clears throat> it's kind of early and I've not spoken yet today. Okay, so this week I'm still <clears throat> carless. So pretty much housebound, which is kind of like frustrating. So I'm looking for potentially a new car. So I need to like replace the old one or um, get the old one fixed. It's a pretty big fix though, so it's gonna be in for at least a couple of weeks and then i'm going to an event in manchester on thursday and then we are going out for dinner so that's thursday's plan today is tuesday i've got this little parcel i think it's from from loxitan and they have sent me a borean korean skin therapy matte cream like a blur effect thing so is that maybe a primer that's probably how i would use it Hmm. You what? Um, yes, it's in there. That's because I was filming my house tour, so I had to make it kind of tidy. So thank you lots of time for sending that. Look forward to trying that out, probably as like a primer. Let me get up from this bean bag. I'm due a big Pretty Little Thing order as well, delivery today. I'm also trying out this new lip liner, which is a Primark one. And um, I've just filmed a big Primark haul. Ready to go? Let's go. Sun's out. Guns out. Trying to decide what lunch to get. I think I'm gonna keep it fairly healthy with soup and some bread. <laughs> I'm back home now. I'm gonna cook lunch, which is the soup that I got. I ended up going for this one, which was super broccoli, Lancashire cheese soup. It's ended up being a pretty long morning in terms of working. I find when I'm in the zone and I'm working, time literally just flies by, and I was like pretty hungry at half 11, and it's now half one. <laughs> I still haven't eaten yet. So I'm gonna make this soup, carry on. In fact, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm working on my home tour video. So if you haven't seen it, I will link it below because by the time you're watching this video, it will be live. I'm really excited because I finally feel like we've got the house to as best as we can get it with the intention of the fact that we're looking to move to Manchester at some point this year or at least in the near future. Um, because we don't want to invest too much, especially me personally, I don't want to invest too much in this property because it is Tom's. Um, I moved in to here, I moved into this house with him after he'd owned it already for about three years. So, you know, it's been five, six years that we've, or that he has had this house. So there's a few things that need changing in terms of a lick of paint on the walls. The outdoor garden bit area at the minute is just like a square of nothing. So it would be nice to maybe get a little bit of decking out there and some cozy seating, maybe a canopy with some fairy lights or something. Equally, our spare bedroom at the minute is pretty much like a storage room for my clothes, which we would have a lot different if we were staying here. There's not much planned this week, so I think what I'm gonna do is, I've got a couple of packages coming, so in fact I've got three of them already arrived. I've got a couple more that I'm waiting on, so once they've arrived, I'm gonna do a big try on haul within this vlog, I think, because I think you guys would like that. Do you like seeing my shopping and what I get? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if that's the sort of thing that you like. Okay, let's crack on with this haul. So we have Pretty Little Thing, we have New Look, we have Select, La Sula, Public Desire, and I'm waiting on some things from In The Style. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you these because I've already got them out of the box or the bag that they came in. Oh yeah, okay, these are like some nude mule style shoes. I'll insert a picture as to what they look like on. They fit lovely. They feel like they're going to be comfy. The heel's not too high. And then the other pair that I got are, again in that mule style, they're kind of Moroccan inspired these ones. Now they did have these in black and other colours, but I thought I would change things up a bit and go for a more earthy mustard kind of colour, which with creams I think could look really pretty. So we will see. You know colour isn't like a big thing in my household but um this kind of mustard is like that earthy tone so i do really like this i'm gonna go in with 
new look now. Okay, so this first thing that I got is like a straw little backpack which I just thought was so cute. I'm loving straw bags at the minute and I don't have this kind of backpack style one. I have a circle one which I got from Next, which I'm loving by the way. And then I have a couple of more beach bag ones. It was 19.99. It's gonna be a staple, especially like in the warmer months. And also it'd be the perfect little exploring bag to fit camera phone person when abroad. And then this I also picked up in this like beige stone kind of color. It's pretty much just a beige basic top that is ribbed and it's also got that knot detailing which I'm loving at the minute. So this is really like weighty. As you can tell it's kind of like a bit more oversized loose fitting, quite baggy on the sleeves. I think I would actually style this up with maybe white jeans in the summer but equally these black jeans that I've got are just from Misguided. They're like my staple jeans. Whenever I need a new pair of jeans I tend to go to Misguided. I'll link some of my favourites below but I'll include these ones as well if you like, but they're just a really good fit for those of you who, like me, are a little bit smaller at the waist, bigger at the hips and the bum, and you always have that problem of it gaping at the back. You never have that with the misguided ones, so I do size down in them as well to a size 8 when usually I'm a 10. And this one I got in a size 10 and it was £12.99. pence. Next up I'm going to go in with this select bag got two pairs of shoes the first one being these they were 16.99 i got them in a size six and they're just a very staple nude summer strappy kind of sandal with a bit of a block heel so they're really comfortable to walk in because they're nude they'll kind of go with everything then i also picked up this style which were these were only 9.99 perfect staple little summer sandal type shoe okay i also got this which to be completely honest with you they had a white one and it was the white one that i wanted but i've got the pink one which pink mm, if it had been more nude i would have loved it but to be honest with you this color is actually no I, it's okay it's kind of like a corally pink so I'm okay with that because it's usually my go-to color on my nails in fact I'm kind of wearing like a corally pink at the minute for spring summertime and I think this with like an all white bikini it's basically just a little um kimono style cover up with these tassel detailing here so this one was $17.99 and I got it in a size 10. I'll show you this one next because this was like the main reason as to why I did this shot because of this top like it's just going to be a perfect basic. I did size up to a size 12 and it was 12 99 I just wanted a bit more of a loose fit. And as you can see, it's got these tortoiseshell buttons on it, little ties on the arms. Okay, this is what the top looks like on. How cute is this? It's so simple. Oh, I just love it. This like button detailing tortoiseshell on white kind of top I'm loving at the minute. Next up we have this top which I got in a size medium. It was reduced from 12 99 down to 9 99 and again it's that beige stone kind of colour that I'm loving. That little tassel detailing and the crochet again is so in this season and it's just going to be again another perfect little staple top. Now it is obviously crochet so you can see through it. I would wear this as like a little beach cover up with some denim shorts and a bikini on or equally I would be happy wearing this kind of like nude crop top style thing. I get these from Poundland by the way if you're interested. If you watch my Poundland hauls you'll know that. With maybe some white jeans could be really nice and these white sandals. Yeah, love this. And then this is another white top that I got. Again, another staple for the upcoming warmer months. I got it in a size 10, it was 12 99 again. A little collared blouse, kind of like open. And the main part of this top that I love is that again, that little knot detailing. Very simple, staple little blouse for spring, summer. You can see my little crop top through this. Maybe um, a strapless bra would be better. But yeah, I love this one a lot. Okay, this is the top, what it looks like with just a little uh, nude bralette thing underneath. I'm actually, have I zoomed in? How's that happened? I'm gonna leave these two for later on slash maybe tomorrow to show you because my battery's flashing. I've got insufficient memory, so I need to switch up all the files that are currently on this camera, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it with you with this top 
and stay tuned for more unboxing later on in this video. Made in Chelsea started and there's been loads of episodes and I had no idea it was back on. Seven episodes. <laughs> So, I'm just about finishing episode one of seven, so I might have a bit of a binge tonight, especially as Tom is working late. So, I am going to rub myself a bath, take off all my makeup, and maybe show you the process of what I'm gonna do in terms of skincare wise. So, let me just grab a clip for my hair. I think you guys are set. I've got one of those little um, tripods. Oh, no. <laughs> this little bath bridge there so I think I'm gonna put the um, next mood in Chelsea on my iPad and just soon watch an episode why not <laughs> I'm gonna start with some cotton pads and micellar micellar water to take off my eye makeup this one I'm currently using is the simple one and I got it from Poundland so I just use two cotton pads and then just take off all my mascara And then eyebrows and then take another two and do the rest of my face. Okay, so for my face mask, I'm gonna use two Clarins products. This one is from the Hydra Essential range and it is a reviving eye mask. And then I'm gonna use the SOS Hydra. I have a full size one of this, but I'm gonna use this sample one up first and it's a refreshing hydration mask with leaf of life extract. Just whilst the bath is running as well, I'm just gonna put some of this Clarins um, Relax Bath and Shower Concentrate. It's like a little bubble bath, it's nice. It smells amazing. I'm also gonna put a couple of drops of the Espa Soothing Bath Oil in. Well, until I get in the bath, I'll rinse it off. And then after my bath, what I will use is a an oil. I'm also just gonna pop a bit of this um, moisture replenishing lip balm from Clarins just on my lips, even though I've currently got a face mask on. And then what I'm gonna use after my bath is this oil, which is like a favorite of mine. It's the Beauty Kitchen seahorse plankton high definition facial oil sometimes i'll use a moisturizer as well but i think i'm just gonna put a nice generous layer of that on and sleep in it for now i will say good night love you and leave you and see you tomorrow <laughs> that definitely got all up the wall <laughs> good morning it is now thursday i have been to booze to have some breakfast and then where Tom's gone he's literally just disappeared no idea oh it's cold in here just shut the window we are heading over to Manchester later on I've got an event that I'm going to and then we're also going for dinner somewhere so I will talk to you a bit more about those later when we set off but for now I thought I would show you a little haul little but let's start with Lasula so first up, pair of shoes. These are very simple, very staple, standard nude over the toe shoes. I have some like these in black and I wear them all the time. So I thought I would pick up a nude pair. The only thing that I'm a little bit concerned with is because of my wide feet and this little band over here, usually that is fairly quite uncomfortable for, for me. Um, my black ones, I live in, they're so comfortable, but it's because I think that bit is like a faux suede. Usually, if shoes like this are more of a dinner shoe for me, like from the taxi to the table, from the table to the taxi, that kind of shoe, but we'll see how they go. And then I also got, jumped on the bandwagon with the whole sunglasses trend and picked myself these up. So they're very on trend, spring, summer, that kind of style sunglasses. They're very inexpensive because they're obviously not designer or anything, but I feel like with a trend piece, you're better off getting something that is more affordable just so that, you know, if next season, next year, you decide that this isn't so much your trend anymore, then you've not spent loads of money 
on a pair so yeah pick them up now this is like an extreme jumper in terms of look at that <laughs> these sleeves are super oversized and it is cropped i loved the look of this i think this with some jeans i'll show you what it looks like now so as you can tell it's super oversized super slouchy it's not too off the shoulder like i would probably just wear it like so and it's just so cozy like how different is this for me because you know how much i love my stone beige kind of colors and jumpers still for like spring summer a bit of a crop so you can show a bit of belly really really like this one i got this in a size medium by the way just for reference i'm not going to show you this one on just because it's probably going to be a little too revealing but it is this really really cute little crochet like bralette style top. I got this in a size small and I will say I could have probably sized up more so for the length of the straps because they're not adjustable. It sits quite high on me, which I'm fine with, but I probably could have got away with a medium just for reference. Next up, I got this body, which is high neck and super low back. It's really like side cut there this is what the body is like and i love it. it's just i really like the high neck as well okay the last two things i bought are both in like this checked print the first one is in like this check print like which i really really love that retro picnic style check and then this is more like a hound's tooth so this is a mini bodycon skirt little zip detailing at the back and this little frill hem is really flattering so i'll try this on along with these which are a bit different for me let me know what you think but they are i love this check pattern and i actually love the style of it it's just on me i'm not sure i'll try them on so you can see what they look like so this is what the skirt looks like how cute is this i just love the like fit of it i just think it's really flattering to have that little frill detailing at the top and these are the trousers so i actually have like tried them back on again and fallen back in love with them so i will keep them i do really like them it is honestly just this like sorry i just thought i'd try them on with the sunglasses as like an outfit i love that like retro pedal pusher is that what you used to call them like cropped trousers if you know what i mean i don't know 90s people will know what i'm talking about thumbs up from me for these ones okay so moving on to pretty little thing the first thing i'll show you is this straw bag i saw laura laura meacham um haul this and i knew it was en route when she hauled it so i um saw her and it is definitely more gold than i thought it was going to be but i think they've got a silver version too um, but it is essentially just a little straw bag. It's got a nice long handle as a different alternative. I probably would just wear it as so. Like maybe with an outfit similar to like this with these shades. As always, we'll link everything below, including this bag. I also got a couple of jewellery pieces, uh, both of which are gold because that's my current obsession. And the first one is actually something that I've seen Sophia wear from Sophia and Chinsia. It's this gorgeous, like, religious style rosary bead mother of... I don't know. <laughs> don't even ask me. With a little cross there as well. And what I loved about this was the actual chain itself. I just think this is so pretty and I'd probably wear it with this outfit. And then I also picked up a pair of earrings, which I have quite a collection of gold hoops now. Like not massive ones, but like dainty ones with thick gold and different textures on them. But I wanted a pair of like statement gold but drop earrings instead. So I've got these and they are, if you can tell, they're actually barbed wire. So let me put one in just so you can see what they look like in. I just think they are so pretty. First item, this gorgeous A-line skirt. Now I've got a corduroy one in white, which you'll have seen in last week's weekly vlog, uh, from a brand called Toby. I'm obsessed with it. So I picked up this colour. I got this skirt in a size 10. It's not too tight or anything. It's nice and comfortable. And this is definitely more of a yellowy tone, which I love yellow as well at the minute. I'm obsessed with yellows, golds, whites, creams. You'll probably have seen this if you follow other YouTubers who are obsessed with Pretty Little Thing like I am. And it is this like 
over the shoulder kind of like open cropped jumper i would wear this probably with like high-waisted jeans it's just super slouchy super comfortable but the material of it is nice and thick and like really really soft i think some nice gold jewelry as well with this would be super super pretty okay i picked up this little bandeau just because i feel like i needed a darker colored one this is what the bandeau top looks like and i've just paired it with these which are also from pretty little thing they are white leather pants i'm obsessed with these and you can like put a belt with this one but i think i would just leave it a nice little bandeau like this or like a jumper tucked in like off the shoulder i love these it's just something a bit different and i was after some more like white pants white jeans white bottoms in general skirts everything and I love these. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of these. I might wear these tonight. And Bando, they've got these in so many different colours. This being one of them. So this is the same Bando, but it's in a beige and white polka dot. And again, it's that like retro style. So I do get these in a size 10. Okay, these next two i will try on together okay i've realized something with these pants when i tried them on the other day i tried them on with nude underwear and you genuinely couldn't even see through them but wearing them with a white body or black underwear which is what i've got on now i've realized they are kind of a little bit thin so let me just cover that so you can see what they look like and they're nice and long which i love and then equally this body like i said i would just wear it with something else maybe some jeans or well you could wear this body with like near enough anything okay i also got another one of the ultimate cropped sweaters i got this one in white because i live in my other one that sandstone colored one which i love um, so I thought I would pick it up in white as well. So yeah, I absolutely love these sweaters so, so much. I literally live in my other ones. So I got this in a size medium, but I think I've, yeah, I've got them now in small, medium and large and equally all of them, like they're designed oversized anyway. So you don't need any bigger than a small, but generally I just go for whatever's in stock. Yeah, I was obsessed with these and these are so affordable. Okay, this one. I love, I'm not going to try it on just because of the sheerness of it. I would only wear it as a beach dress, but as a beach dress, it's incredible. I love the simplicity of it, the design, and it's just nice and floaty. The way that they styled it on the website, I thought I could have worn this out. Definitely not. It is sheer, but I would wear this with a bikini to the beach. Simple, elegant, straw bag, straw fedora, some sunnies. And this is like the perfect little beach dress in my opinion. I got it in a size 10. Okay, so this one I got as a roll neck long sleeve sweater in cream. It's in a size 8. It says cream. I'd say that's more of a nude. So this is what this top looks like. It is like quite cropped, I will say that. And also um, the sleeves are a little bit short. So you could size up. They're not short on me, but they like, I like sleeves to be just a little bit longer. Um, but it's okay, like as you can tell, I can just, when the, my arms are down, it's fine. And then in here we have another beige neck jumper. But this one is like a scoop neck. This one's like super extreme off the shoulder. Okay, so like as an outfit, I think this is quite cute together. As you can tell, it's super off the shoulder, like I said. Last but definitely not least, I picked up this, which I feel Barbara and Sophia, I have to thank for this. If you know who I'm talking about, then let me know. But this is like that silky, not silky, satin um, white button front shirt. I got it in a size small, and I'm thinking about wearing this tied so this was kind of my intention of how i wanted to wear it. i've not done any buttons up i've literally just tied it right in the middle there and um this is what it looks like i've left the cuffs open just to let them fall naturally and again with some layered gold jewelry some highlight sunnies <sighs> bring on summer weather that's what i say so off to manchester with this Judy, who's all tucked up because it's freezing. My hands are literally shaking. I'm freezing. <laughs> Off to the event, which I'll tell you about now is um, with, now I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Ipenima, Ipenama. Basically a shoe brand uh, that do like sandals and flip flops and they've collaborated with Philip Stark, who's a designer. So, um, oh. what? Who's Philip Stark, a designer? Do you not know him? So you do know him? Yeah. Yeah. So um, basically, they've that's the brand. So that's 
Philip Stark there. They're going to basically be showcasing it at a place called Hervia in Manchester and then we're going to go on to Shoyu Ramen. <laughs> God, there's some hard words to pronounce in this little clip uh, for some ramen noodles. I need to uh, nip into Primani as well, what's for there? Also, Kath's stylist. My team will encourage you to try out new things and just have fun with fashion. I'll go if you go. See, just takes the one first person to go. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god, keeping that in. <laughs> so I have found this one now. I got myself a pair, so I'll show you what they look like later. But now off to Shuru Yamen Ramen for some food. This is the best part to uh, Manchester parking. Ready? Yay! Did you have a nice dinner? Thanks. What did you think of it? Really good. Cool. Yeah, it was delicious. Highly recommended. Let's go. Good morning slash good afternoon. It is a Friday and today I am as every Friday in the office getting on with some work but I'm just having like a mid-afternoon pit stop. I'm gonna go grab a coffee from Booze in a minute, but I got some blogger mail today. Okay, I've not got much battery on this camera. So, um, oh, in fact, I'll show you this, which I got last night. I did pick up some Primark bits yesterday when I went in, so I will do a little extra Primark call for you guys this month. Oh, someone's beeping outside. These are actually my favorite ones. So they gifted me the ones that I love. These are the crossover ones, which the stylist that was at the event was saying how the line here is really like flattering for people with wide feet, like moi. Next up, I have this, which on the front it says it's from Thamine, which is a favorite brand of ours. This is Tom's fragrance, which he got a while ago now. It lasts a long time because of like the oils in it. They sent me their new fragrance, well, it's new fragrance to me, Green Pearl, which this is how it comes. This is the 
box that it comes in. Oh, this is so exciting for me. We actually have a few fragrances like Tom Ford and other ones that are like kind of unisex that me and Tom both wear because I quite like masculine scents. So that is what the packaging looks like. These make incredible gifts if you're not on a budget. Oh my God, I can smell it already and I haven't even sprayed it yet. It's like kind of musky. I can smell like the bergamot because I, I love that scent. Or neroli or something. Oh, that's really, really nice. Both for men and women, in my opinion. I also got a little package here from Imagination PR. And inside, they have very kindly gifted me this, which is so fitting with my Instagram. You'll probably see a little flat lay with this because I'm a sucker for like natural packaging and especially white. Quite often I'll do little Instagram stories as well of things like this if I'm loving them. Use daily, morning and night to improve overall skin health and hydration. So yeah, thank you so much a la carte cosmetics for sending me that. And then I also have this which is Ah uh, yeah, okay, so this is the Macadamia Healing Oil Treatment, which I've tried this before and loved it, and I actually went to London Fashion Week with these guys and went behind, like, backstage. I did it in one of my weekly vlogs, I showed you guys going backstage. And then that's where I met Tashi Tinks, who I'm a big fan of her channel. And then we have this big package here, again from Imagination PR, let's see what they have sent. So they have sent me, Dear Frey, meet the new colour correctors from Vichy Derma Blend. And then inside is a little press release, so I will show you this, so you can pause and have a read if you're interested. Ah, oh, that's cute. They've included a little frame in there as well. So these are the actual skin correctors themselves. Four different shades. Lilac, like a yellowy colour, orange colour and green. And then there's also another product in here. Another one of their Mineral 89 Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster, which I actually have one of these. So I might give this away to you guys. So stay tuned for that over on my Instagram. If you don't know, I'm doing a few giveaways on my Instagram. I'm kind of like building that up. So do head over there and follow me. And for now, coffee time. Back to the office. Off we go. Tom's home. What do you think of my new designer flip flops? I went for the all white, obviously. Definitely first style, aren't they? Nice, aren't they? Anyway, he's put some gangster tune on that I'm not aware of. It's a tune to Nicki Minaj. Some new Nicki Minaj thing, which thing. <laughs> Bendy Prince on. What is it? Bendy Tits on. Bendy Tits on. Tits. Oh. Right. Let's hope it doesn't get copyrighted now. Shut that door. So. For dinner tonight, Tom is going to the bar for a meeting, so we're going to have to be real quick. So we picked up pizzas, we're just going to share them, we've got a bag of salad, and then for dessert, Tom's on his mini egg hype at the minute, which he's obsessed with. But I saw these, which I've never tried before, that they were selling since Easter's over. So, Oreo Easter eggs, yum. Eating pizzas, watching our new fave, 24 Witnesses hours of the scene have pointed to one man. Ooh. Oh, Big thumbs up for these eggs, by the way. We've actually only got one left. I'm just going to grab a couple of mini eggs. So, I'm just sorting through, putting some clothes away, making sure everything is nice and organised and tidy. I'm catching up on the 2016, not catching up, re-watching the 2016 episodes of Love Island, which I've just found online, but I think they're actually putting it on Netflix, so it might already be on by the time you're watching this, but I figured seeing as though it's going to be coming back anytime soon, and I'm obsessed, I thought I'd re-watch all the episodes, which is kind of fun. I need to have like a nice hot shower and wash my hair, have a bit of a pamper evening tonight as well. Good morning, happy weekend. Today I am off to Manchester. Um, I'm gonna go meet an old friend. She's not old, she's an old uni friend. <laughs> and then this one is, what are you doing? Going to football. Which football? Burnley. 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 Burnley, Burnley Football Club. We've just been to Booth to have some lovely breakfast as per usual. It's now half 11, I'm gonna go 
to the train station because it's currently still carless. So I'm going to get the train in at around half one and then come back. Might be going out tonight. I messaged Lauren, she might be going. Right. Yeah. A friend of ours is DJing at a local place in our village. So we might go to that. And then, yeah, I'm going to have a little browse around the shops today as well. So if I pick anything up, I'll show you what I get. I'm loving this outfit, this all cream. These pants are from M&S, but they were from the... These are from the outlets, from yeah. Marks and Spencers. And I love the little belt detailing, which is just like a rope. And then this is old Primark. And then I've got a Zara trench, which I'm gonna put on as well. I've decided not to put on a jacket because I feel like it might be quite warm. And also the sun's out now. Might be regretting it later, but we will see. I love it when the sun's out. <laughs> uni friends which is lovely seeing them it's always good to see old friends reminisce and catch up on uni times we went to um, San Carlos Fumo which is a gorgeous like Italian place now I'm gonna head back to the train station Victoria get the train meet Tom and his mum and I don't know what we're doing for the rest of this evening but I'll see you when I get there I made it back we are ready for an episode of 24 hours in police custody. Speaking of police, you want to tell them what just happened? <coughs> I was um, wrongfully stopped. <laughs> wrongfully stopped? We just got pulled over by the police. Matching description of a vehicle <coughs> and somebody stumbling into it as if he'd been on one. And Tom doesn't drink. I do drink. Well, you don't really drink. Considering you're driving and you're working tonight. Yeah, but I'm five pints. You haven't had five pints, you liar. Then you would be pulled over. Right, I'm gonna go to booze and get myself some dinner. You've had loads to eat, so you're not hungry. And then I- You get that shoe off. And then I'm gonna- You get that shoe off. Oh my God. I can't get it off, jeez. You're using one hand for it. This might have to be a two man, two man job. Two man job, I'm not getting someone else here to get my shoe off. <laughs> two hand job. Go on, friend. We're gonna chill out for a bit and then we're going to a local cocktail bar for some, well, I'm going to have some drinks. Tom will have some water because then he's going to drive on to his bar. Oh, Jesus. Come on. I give up. You can do it. Oh, my God. Come on, you can do it. Undo it. Why, why have you left it so tight? Quitters never win. Winners never quit. Yeah, so take the... Oh, yeah! yeah. So, I will say thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you like my weekly vlogs and I'll see you again next week. Now time to do shoe number two.